All right, next I got Van Helsing and Van Helsing, the London assignment from 2004, both the same year. Uh, I love this shit. Here's my thoughts on these two. It's the film that should have had an extended cut, but doesn't. It really feels like it should have had one, but I don't know. It pays homage to classic movie monsters or monster movies of the past so well. Frankenstein's design is the best ever. I absolutely love it. It looks so fucking awesome. I wouldn't mind having a uh, figure of that, actually. Like a detailed one. Like if, if uh, McFarlane Toys picked it up and did that shit. I would, would love that. It's the easiest cult classic out of the 2000s. Honestly, it's so underrated. Like nobody ever talks about it. It's so overshadowed and shit, but it's really good. Some might hate it, but I gen genuinely love it. I really do. It's amazing this came out during Hugh Jackman's peak era because he'd done X-Men and a few other films before this. Yeah, it's amazing. I also watched a game movie too, hoping it had some lore expansion, but didn't. Good game, though. Absolutely love that crossbow. I really want that thing, but I don't have like hundreds of dollars to buy it, so no. <laughs> it's weird seeing Faramir without the hair playing a sidekick role one year after Return of the King was released. That's the big thing about that shit. Like, it's wild to me that this is one year removed from Return of the King. Like, wow. Also cool how this was Kate Beckinsale's infancy years into action flicks as Celine in Underworld. Because Underworld just came out a year previous, too. Not to mention role switching, too. Like, in Underworld, she's a badass. In Van Helsing, she's a damsel in distress. Badass. But doesn't do very much. But you get the point. Mm. It's a shame this didn't have a spin-off series or connect to Underworld, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, or an I, Frankenstein. I love them movies. They are fucking good. That's right, I did write a fanfic based off Anna's character, this movie, and Queen of the Damned, and called it Drax Castle. Yeah. And that's on Wattpad, if you want to check that shit out. Truly love the transformation with Dracula's Brides. If they kept the nudity, film would have been R for that reason. <coughs> Damn it. Ugh. This could, this could have been good in D-Box, too. Just the movement and everything. All the weapons Anna's got is astounding. Belkin's werewolf transformation is comical, but so graphic. Yeah, that first transformation was so horribly funny. It's like, ah! Like, I know it's scary, but... <laughs> uh, shame the Dwergy weren't more vicious as Anna alludes to. Yeah, they were just like, and then that's it. <laughs> They're like the sidekick Ewoks, honestly. It's so funny. Pretty amazing how ki how many kids Dracula's bride can produce. That was the first batch was from one bride. That's pretty fucking amazing. Good undead Transylvanian ovaries making human ovaries look weak. Gotta step that shit up, ladies. <laughs> Dracula is definitely the MVP with each monologue he gives. Yes. Shame the history between Dracula and Van Helsing wasn't fully explored either. Like, that really sucked, dude. Mm. The painting Frere Faramir discovers is awesome. Yep, definitely. The doorway to Castle Frankenstein is awesome. <coughs> Damn. The layout for Castle Frankenstein is amazing. I did love that layout. It's some really good shit. Such a stellar fight between Van Helsing and Dracula. Shame Anna had to die. I wonder where Frankenstein went off to. Who knows? Also reminds me of the 2004 miniseries of the same name. Yeah, there was a USA miniseries called Frankenstein. I should watch that. I haven't seen it in fucking 18 years, so yeah. Uh, oh, uh, it's an 11 out of 10 for me, but honestly, it's a 6, 4, 7, 4 out of 10. Love the end credits text, too. I know you're supposed to watch London Assignment before the film, but oh well. 
Animation looks great 18 years later. Surprised he's wielding the crossbow, although it's a single shot versus the other version. Yeah. They kind of teased that, but made it a single shot instead. Oh, fuck. Definitely love Hyde's design in this. It really expands on Jekyll and Hyde's origin. Like, his design animated looks phenomenal. Like, he's built for animation. Uh, makes you wonder why they split this up and didn't include it in the film. Like, it really should have been in the film. It would have made it better. Rewatching this makes me wish League of Extraordinary Gentlemen had been animated. That would have been cool as shit. I think that, I think if that had been animated, it would have went over a lot better with people versus the live action, which Sean Connery hates and people hate. I love it. It's good shit. Plus, it's a comic book film. It's a good comic book film. It is nice having more backstory on Jekyll and Hyde. Definitely puts him on par with Dracula in terms of MVP status. It's a really good short movie. Easy 7 out of 10. Oh, man. So much fun. But yeah, so I can't really pick between these two because they go together. So put them together, it's one great fucking film, and that would put it at, I'd say, an even... Seven and a half out of ten. That's a fair rating for it. And I know it's an odd number. I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> you should know this by now. Um, hmm. What else was there to enjoy about this film? Or these films? Well, I consider it one. So it. Just the lore... The premise, the layout, and the history, for sure. I loved all that. That was good shit. <clears throat> so would I recommend this to you and friends? Definitely. Check them out. If you've never seen them before, it's a new treat for you. It's something to really just kick back and watch. And it's, it is a product of the 2000s. But it's an underrated gem for me and some others who enjoy it just you know for what it gives and what it shows and all that. it's not meant to be you know some people will take shit and behold be so beholden to it and won't accept any flawed uh opinions about it <laughs> there's a lot of people that are like that <laughs> star wars fandom <laughs> christ <sighs> or any fandom in general, honestly. But, yeah, I like it. But if you don't like the people involved, you don't like cast, crew, all that shit, ain't for you. But if you do happen to enjoy this and you have seen it, you had a great time with it, you want to rewatch it, go for it. Have a great time. Be happy. That's the whole point of doing a movie review. Like, I do mine. I don't do it to be an asshole. You know, I do it just, you know, watch it, write my thoughts down, share my thoughts and whatnot and post. Easy as that. I don't expect people to, you know, wholeheartedly agree with me. I don't expect them to base it or not base it. You know, I don't expect them to believe me. Not believe me. Agree with me or disagree with me. That's how I roll. So I'm going to get off here, upload these vids, and go chill because there's other shit I want to do. But yeah, I'm caught up now. So I'll have more vids whenever. If you see me upload something, you know it's something to watch. So till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.